All right, Boot Media is in. There's the recovery screen. Go to BIOS here. all the drives. It sees the USB stick. Advanced. So this is all I can get. Secure boot state setup. I deleted the PK key here but there's no way to turn it completely off. It's just grayed out. So, I don't know. I also turned on CSM. So, I don't know, can't turn it off completely for some reason. Got a boot menu. There's the UEFI version, and there's the non, the legacy or something, I don't know. This is what happens when you do the UEFI boot from that. Just sits there for a while. when it should be loading Windows Installer. Goes to blue screen. That's it. Hangs there for a while, and then it'll restart by itself. This is with a different USB than I was trying before. I was using a Kingston before, and I'm using a PNY. Loaded with the Windows Media installation straight from the Windows website for Windows 10. It works on my other computer just fine. So yeah, it just shut off by itself. Try loading the non UEFI partition. Of the Windows Media Installer. Or the Windows Installation Media, whatever. And you get the little flashy, like it's actually working. This is what it would do on a normal one, and then the Windows logo should pop up and it does a little circle down below and then it loads everything and then it goes into Windows Installer. On my other computer it works just fine. But there's the orange screen. That's what I get on this computer. And if you enter, look there's the Windows logo for one second. <laughs> Keep entering and it doesn't do anything. I plugged it in up here, plugged it in back here. So, yeah, it does this orange screen for a while. And that's it. And then when I do the DVD of Windows 10 through my external, I do get the Windows logo, but it just stays on the Windows logo and then turns off by itself, just like the other, other time. 
it's like this. You let this last for a while. And this is with a different hard drive plugged in. This is not the one that I had in there originally. I guess I could wipe the one completely that's in here. This is the one with Jane's corrupted OS. But I unplugged it and tried this also with no hard drives plugged in at all, and I did the same thing. So it will not go into Windows Media Installer, or the Windows 10 Installer. Install Media. I won't bore you with this anymore. <laughs>